like you to meet our two main characters, Proud Dude and Humble Dude. Please pay careful attention as I tell you about each of these characters. As you notice, both characters have eyes, but Proud Dude only likes to look at himself. Occasionally she sees other people, but when she does, it's only to see their mistakes, weaknesses, and failures. Oh man, what a loser. Humble Dude sees God first, and then others. She knows that people are important to God, so she treats them with dignity, worth, and respect. You look really tired. Is there anything I can do to help you out? No, no thanks. Mm -hmm. Now both characters also have mouths, but Proud Dude is always bragging about herself. She's always telling us about her good grades, her four soccer goals, how she's the most popular, and how she's so cute. But Humble Dude is often talking about how awesome God is. She's also known to brag about other people. Wow, did you see Sally's art project? It's amazing. I can't believe she can draw like that. What a gift. Yeah. Humble Dude uses her words to encourage everyone. Now, Proud and Humble also have ears. But Proud Dude hates to be told what to do. She doesn't like to hear that she's wrong about anything, so she starts a fight when she's corrected. New York is not a continent, it's a state. No, it's not. I'm right, it's a continent. No, you're not. You're wrong. No, it's not. You're wrong. I'm right. I'm always right. Humble Dude realizes that sometimes she makes mistakes, so she hears people out, and she apologizes for sin. Who lied to me? That's not very nice. She doesn't like friends. I know. I'm sorry. Can we still be friends? Yeah. Next, let's look at their hands. Proud Dude is always causing fights because she never gets what she wants. Humble Dude honors other people above herself and is peaceful and considerate. She makes people happy. Let's look at their feet. Proud dude often stomps hers. She demands her own way. She thinks she deserves to be served. In contrast, humble dude is always walking towards needs. She helps people without being asked. Do you need anything? Can I help you in any way? No. Okay. Now, boys and girls, Proud Dude has destroyed her friendships and her relationships with others. Now she's all alone. But look at Humble Dude's group. Humility builds relationships because people feel loved and valued. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hug it out. Of all the stars that shine in the sky, there had always been one that was brighter than the others. The whole sky's planets and stars looked on in admiration, wondering what could be the most important mission this star was going to carry out. The questions ended when some angels came to the star. The Lord calls upon you to carry out <coughs> So the star went as fast as he could and found out that his mission was to show where the most important event in history would take place. The star was filled with pride. He proceeded to follow the angels who would show him the right place. The star shone and could be seen from all parts of the world knowing that he must be pointing to something important. The star followed the angels, showing the way, 
and he was eager to find out what place he was going to illuminate. However, when the angel stopped and said, here it is, the star could not believe it. There were no palaces, no castles or mansions, no gold or jewels. There was only a small, half-abandoned, dirty, smelly stable. Oh, no! Not that! I cannot waste my time lighting up a place like this. I was born for something greater than this. Well, the angels tried to calm him, but the star's anger grew and grew, and pride bubbled up inside of him. He began to burn, and then he simply disappeared. <laughs> Well, what a problem. There were only a few days left before the big moment, and here they were without a star. So the angels ran to tell God what had happened to him. Go out and search for the smallest, most humble, and joyful of all the stars you can find, and bring it here. Surprised by this order, the angels flew through the heavens in search of the smallest, most joyful star. It was a tiny star. She gave no importance to her brightness. When this star was brought to the Lord, she was told, The most brilliant star has failed due to its pride. I thought you, the most humble and joyful of all the stars, should be chosen. You will light up the most important event in history, the birth of the baby Jesus in Bethlehem. The little star was filled with so much emotion and joy, she took to the skies with a message for all of her friends. On December 25th at midnight, I want to share with you the greatest glory that can exist for a star, to light up the birth of God. I will wait in the little town of Bethlehem by a small stable. And indeed, other stars joined together and they lit up the sky with beauty. As a reward for her humility and generosity, God transformed this little messenger into a beautiful shooting star and gave her the gift of granting wishes every time anyone saw her beautiful gleaming trail in the night sky. <laughs> 